My name is Dr. Jenny Tates. I'm a clinical psychologist and the author of How to Be Single and Happy. I've seen tons of remarkable clients who feel like finding love is the one to do that's tough to tackle. Think about it. What is it that you want the most? I'm guessing that if you're either single or unhappily coupled, your biggest wish is an amazing partner. Which leads to the question, how do you cope with the fact that there are more people single than ever? In the US, more than half of women over 18 and roughly 110 million adults are unmarried. And dating today is complicated. With more than a third of relationships starting through technology, our ancestors would have never anticipated our new dating norms. It's hard to feel at ease and optimistic when the person sitting across from you might be messaging someone else tonight and ghosting you tomorrow. And I get it, I've been there. What I wanted more than anything was a relationship, especially having seen my mom divorce twice and wishing to become a mom myself one day. Eventually I got engaged and realized I wasn't as happy as I predicted I'd be. So I decided to start practicing the science of psychology that I was teaching my patients on myself. And I wrote How to Be Single and Happy to share the research that I found to be true firsthand to spare you from the pain of ruminating about ending up alone. You deserve more than to spend your time debating whether to splurge on eyelash extensions or plotting your social media game. Did you know that there are certain ways you're guaranteed to feel miserable and also strategies to feel happier? I'll teach you how predicting that you'll end up alone or drowning in regret literally gets in the way of thinking clearly, alongside ways to stop yourself from getting trapped by those depressing spirals. You'll also learn how to stop feeling ashamed when someone asks, again, why are you still single? Through skills like self-compassion. Science says that happiness comes from your mindset, your ability to live in the moment, and how meaningfully you spend your time. The path to freedom is having a clear life purpose, learning to be mindful, and filling your time with activities and people that fulfill you. You don't need to wait for love to live better. In case you're worried that what I'm suggesting is accepting being alone, this prescription will actually increase your chance of finding love. People who are genuinely happy and have a strong sense of meaning in life are attractive and charismatic. And you don't deserve to settle in love or in your life. You can be single and happy, and I'm excited to show you how.